Hello and welcome back to Time of Refreshing. I'm your host, James Cleveland Jones, and guess what? You are definitely in the right place at the right time. But I tell you the same thing every time you tune in. Pick up your phone, call your friends, call your family, call your loved ones. Even call those who call themselves your enemies and let them know that T-O-R, that's right, Time of Refreshing. We're on the air and we're here to lift up the name of the Most High God, who is Jesus the Christ. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm really excited about tonight's show because I love people that have a passion for lifting up the name of Jesus and proclaiming the gospel. And I've got sitting with me tonight an anointed young woman who's not only gifted with singing, but she's been anointed to preach the gospel, to let the world know that he's coming back and he's coming back soon. And I'm just excited that she's taking the time to be with us tonight. I want you to help me welcome my special guest, Karen Session. Welcome, Karen. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm very yeah. happy to be here with you and our audience. Absolutely. It's <laughs> our pleasure. I'm excited to have you on Time of Refreshing. Now, tell the world, who is Karen Session? Well, uh, I am a servant of the Lord, Amen. of the Most High God. Um, tell you a little bit about myself. I'm actually a general ma manager at, at a radio station awesome. in Lehigh Acres, Florida. Awesome. The first Spanish radio station. Come on. Aviva Radio 107.7 FM. I'm familiar We're with that excited. Station. Yeah, I know. I know you're very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, my husband and I are also associate pastors mm -hmm. in City of the King Ministries Amen. in Lehigh Acres, Florida. Awesome. Mm -hmm. that you just got so many things going on with your life. Karen, I could take the next hour and we'd still be talking. But just tell me about your background. Did you grow up in the church? Tell, just tell me a little bit about your background. Well, as, as of we were talking earlier, mm -hmm. I was telling you that I grew up in revival times. Come on. Now, what does that mean when you say that? In revival times. Well, I, I was born and raised in an atmosphere where the Word of God was not just taught, mm. but it was showed. Come on. It, it was in action. Yes. I saw people receive miracles that yes. today, if we were to say it through <laughs> these cameras, uh -huh. maybe a lot of people would say, well, why would you say something like mm -hmm, that? Mm -hmm. Because we can't limit God. We That's can't right. put a limit to God. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've seen great things. The first miracle that God used me on, I remember... Uh, I was at a wedding mm -hmm. with my husband. We were celebrating a wedding, and all of a sudden, this lady comes up to me, and she's like, man, Karen, I am going to surgery tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I have kidney stones, and I don't want to get through with it. This lady was telling me this a, a few weeks before, mm -hmm. and she just came you know, to me in that wedding, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know, I felt her pain because she didn't want to go through, through it, through the surgery. All of a sudden, um, I got this spiritual anger, Come on. and I I put my hands in Come front on. of everybody there. I put my <laughs> hands in awesome. her belly, yes. and I started, you know, declaring a word of healing. Amen. And the next day, she went. She went to the doctor. She got checked. Mm. There was no kidney no stone. No kidney Woo! Come on, somebody. Two things about that. First miracle Jesus did in the Bible was what? In a wedding. At a wedding. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Second thing. Kidney stones, my father was a tough guy. Uh -huh. The only time I ever saw my dad cry was when he was trying to pass a kidney stone. So I can just imagine the pain that goes along with that. You know, so that, to be used of God. Hey, man, girl, I just, there's so much in you. Just keep talking. I'm just, <laughs> I'm enjoying this talk, just, just listening to you. Keep talking. Well, yes, I, like I was saying, I was raised in that movement, and, and that's the passion that I've had growing up. Yes. I, I've experienced many things from God. My father's a pastor and Amen. an evangelist. Yes, he is. Um, w I was born in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, <laughs> Puerto Rico yes. Puerto Rico, I'll get there. I'll La on. Isla del Encanto. Uh, I'll yeah. let you know that part. <laughs> <laughs> it's the island, it's, they call it the island of, of charm because Amen. it's so beautiful. Yes. Um, and it's a rich port, Puerto Rico. Amen. I was born and raised there. Um, and uh, growing up, I saw my father, you know, just uh, pastoring and going from town to town in the islands of, in the island of Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. I saw him praying for people who were sick, people who had cavities, wow. people who, who just went to a revival meeting mm -hmm. because they had no other choice. Wow. They, 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 they couldn't afford to, Doctors you know, to get dentists, to a yeah. doctor. They, they couldn't, but they, they had a resource. Come on, somebody. Come on. <laughs> they had a resource, and they believe in the resource. And, you know, something that I, that I loved when I was growing up is that 
it didn't have to, uh, God just didn't have to use an evangelist mm -hmm. or a pastor mm -hmm. or, or somebody with a title. Mm -hmm. God just used somebody who believed him. A willing vessel. A willing vessel. Come on. You know, so, and, and that's what my father was just pretty much teaching his church. He was mm -hmm. not just going to places and healing people, mm -hmm. but he was actually lifting up an army Amen. who till today, That's James, awesome. till today awesome. are proclaiming the name of Jesus and showing the miracles that God, it, it, it didn't just happen in the Bible. Something that Jesus said, he said, I did these things, but mm -hmm. you're going to do greater, greater and you're going to you're going to be used in a greater and mightier way, awesome. bigger than the ones that I did. Yes. So if Jesus lifted up a Lazarus come on, come from on. the dead, come on. if he raised them from the dead come on now. and he said that I and you, yes. you know, and the yeah. audience that's, yes. ta that's yes. listening right now, he said that you and me, we're going to do greater that's things than said. the ones that he did. Yes. Then why do we limit him? Mm. Why do we not believe? Wow. As I was telling you earlier, we've really experienced, I would say, like a silent mm -hmm. in the church of mm -hmm. Christ. It, it seems like, you know, there's the songs, mm -hmm. there's, you know, there's, there's more information than ever. Ever before. You know, there's more revelation yes. <laughs> than ever before. But oh. one thing is to talk about the word. Come on. And another thing is to make the word work for someone. Amen. You know, and I believe that although it's been, you know, silent, um, and I think the silent, it has been from us. Amen. Instead of God's, because Amen. God is still on the throne. Yes, he is. He is still the King of Kings, same the Lord of Lords. Amen. He's the same God. Yes, he is. He hasn't changed. That's right. I think we've changed. Yes. We've changed because we've We've centered our, our attention on things that we shouldn't have. Lost focus. We right. lost the focus. Amen. And 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 don't get me wrong. I, I'm a modern person. Yes. I love new music. Of course. I love I love whatever comes new because yes. I believe that God uses yes, different does. tactics of, of what's going on. Um, whatever's modern, He yes. uses it to you know it. to yes. capture the soul of someone. Yes. But. We cannot get modern in the Word of God. Come on. We cannot get modern yes. in saying, you know, I'm not going to pray anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to fast anymore. Nope. I am not going to, to, to read the Scripture and make it mine anymore. Yes. You know, the Scripture was not made just for the pastors. Come on. The, pre the Scripture was not made just for an evangelist. Amen. The Scripture was made as a guide for the body of Christ body of believers, to amen. walk in the sonship Come of on. Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, there is a verse in the Bible, um, Romans chapter 8, it says that creation, mm -hmm. it's crying out yes, it eagerly. Amen. Eagerly, it's just crying out for the manifestation Hallelujah. of the people of God yes. to demonstrate his sonship, not the fleshly desires. That's what we've been seeing. We, yes. we, we've been seeing a lot of fleshly desires and people get offended because you mentioned what the word of mm -hmm. God says. <laughs> the so word true. of God hasn't changed. Amen. The word of God is the same yesterday, today, and, and forever, forever will be. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the earth and, and the, uh, the earth and the sky will pass, mm -hmm. but, but his word, word will never, ever pass. Wow. It's going to keep being the same, the same miracles that I saw yesterday, yes. the same miracles that I'm going to see today and greater because Amen. the glory Ooh. of God goes greater, yes. higher and higher, yes. level and level. Amen. Hold that thought. You're about to get me excited, girl. I'm telling you. Listen, we got to take, take it. Uh, she, she ministers. Uh, you see, she's a preacher by heart. The word is in her. But she also ministers through song. And we're going to let you hear what her, uh, her minister f with a song right now. I, I, we need to hurry up so we can get back to care. Go to Diva so we can have Karen come back. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you so much, Karen. <laughs> Karen is just so excited. And the song that she's getting ready to sing, Presencia, it simply means in your presence. Lord, I want to be in your presence. If I have not been, if I've slacked on what my duties are, I've just slacked on yeah, being compassionate for your people and, and, and serving you and, and telling people about God and bringing them to Christ. Lord, just forgive me for what I've done. I just want to be in your presence. In your presence, God, is where I want to be. Right here by Karen, right here on Time of Refreshing.
te quiero ver Mi anhelo es mirarte Te quiero escuchar Mi anhelo es oír tu voz Mi anhelo es Estar de ti más cerca Sentirte más y más Señor Te quiero ver, mi anhelo es mirarte, te quiero escuchar, mi anhelo es oír tu voz, mi anhelo es estar de ti más cerca, sentirte más y más Señor. Quiero ver tu majestad, limpiame y seré más blanco que la nieve yo seré, brilla tu rostro en mi rostro, de tu fuente hace hoy mi ser, con mi voz en alabanza, hoy me humillo a tus pies, ungeme. Cúbreme completamente a tus pies yo muero Cristo para que vivas en mí Hoy me niego a mí mismo para semejarme a ti His presence, I tell you, that's where we long to be in the presence of the Most High God. But I've still got sitting with me this just fireball for <laughs> Jesus. I tell you, I'm just the, I, I can just sit back and just listen to her talk for the rest of the show and not say a word. Karen, I'm so excited, girl, that you're on this show. I Amen. love to see someone that has a passion for the good news of Jesus. So, how long have you been ministering, preaching the Word of God? Well, I started, I was probably eight years old. Wow. Uh, my first message. Come on, somebody. Yeah, I actually experienced uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit Amen. at that age. Wow. That's when I, I, all of a sudden, you know, the fire of God, I was in a service. Mm -hmm. I, I can remember like today. Yes, yes. And the fire of God was just so awesome. And there just, I, re I received that baptism that and I so started awesome. to speaking tongues. Come on and now, the come presence on. of God just overwhelmed me. Wow. 
And, you know, the experience that I've had in my life have not made me change mm. what I believe. That's awesome. And I believe that God is just pretty much raising up an army of Elijahs. Amen. Elishas. Come on, come on. I yes. believe that God is doing that yes. for this time because although, like we were saying before, yes. we've, we've been experienced as silent, mm -hmm. God is not silent. No. He still speaks. Yes. And He's speaking to those who are searching <laughs> to seek His face. Yes. You know, if you seek Him, you shall find Him. Amen. Because that's what the Bible says. Jesus said, if you knock, it will be open unto yes. you. Yes. The problem is that sometimes we're so used to this technology, you know, to press a button and mm. get the answer. Yes, so true. But God doesn't work that way because he has not changed. He yes. wants us to seek his face, to knock on his door. Yes. You know, Jacob fought the angel of the Lord. Come on. And, you know, it, it, you know the angel of the Lord was just, you know, trying to, you know, get him mm. off of him. <laughs> But he was so decided on yes. what he wanted. So determined. Amen. And he got his blessing. Yes. He got his blessing. God is seeking a generation of determination Amen. who are willing to seek his face, who are willing to sacrifice yes. so many things. You know, the gospel, the gospel for me, to me, mm -hmm. is one of the most wonderful things that ever happened to me. Amen. Growing up, yes. that's what I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. And everything that I do, I want it to be in time and in, in season with everything Amen. God wants God wants for me. Yes. And I believe that's the same thing He wants for everybody that's listening to us right now. Yes. God wants to God, God wants to get you in in that time in that moment mm. of reflection with Him, of of turning off the phone. You know. The, the baptism of the Holy Spirit is yeah. so wonderful. It, yes. it, it enables you to, not only, not only the Holy Spirit works within you, but He, he, he also works outward, outwardly. Yes. Yes. Because whatever you experience yes. in the secret is what He reveals what, 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 when you're in front of people. Yes. This is not something for us to keep, mm. but it's something for us to spread. You know, yes. it, and, and the good news is not dead. Ooh. This is not religion. Right. You know, yes. Jesus Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ is not religion. Mm. The world is tired of listening to re again. religious sermons. Say it again. The world is tired of dead churches. Yes. Why do we see right now, the other day my husband and I, we were seeing, uh, you know, this uh, magicians that are mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. and, you mm -hmm. know, doing some illusion mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and some, of, some of them, I think they're doing something else than just illusion. Mm -hmm. But anyways, you know, and, and you see the youth, they're behind them, yeah. you know, applauding them and, and in shock because of the things that mm -hmm. they can do. Well, you know, my God is a God that creator that created the universe. Yes. My God is the God that created yes, the human did. beings. Yes. My God is the God that raised somebody from the dead before and Ooh. he will raise them right yes, now. Will. And you know, there's parts in the world that 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 are experiencing yes, this. Absolutely. You know, I, I I can be a witness to that. I remember one time I was in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. We were uh, at a service, and I remember uh, my father was preaching in a miracle crusade. And I remember they brought this lady up. There was like six people, uh, six men, uh, bringing her up the altar to him. She, he didn't know what was going on. None of us did. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, all of a sudden, he felt in the spirit to put his hands on her, and she went like this before the eyes of everyone. Wow. When the service finished, we found out she just had had a heart attack during wow. the service, and she had died. Ooh. And m when my father put his hands on her, she came back to life. You know, wow. it shouldn't surprise us. If we, we sing, you know, there is power in the name, the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. We sing, we sing so many songs that speak of the wonders and marvelous things about God. We preach about a marvelous yes. God. Yes. But 
we need to act in that atmosphere Ooh. of a ma marvelous God. Karen, you're amazing. I got to get you back, girl. <laughs> I need to get you back on the show. Uh, my, our time is up already. <laughs> I can just sit here. But listen, we're going to talk because I want to get you back again because I love what God is doing. You and your husband are doing a song for us next, so we got to go to that. But you are coming back in Jesus' name. In listen, the name of Jesus, amen. <laughs> I've got to send you back over to Diva now so that you can hear Karen and her husband minister another song. But if you need someone to come and bring some fire to your church, you need to call Karen because <laughs> she's on fire for the Lord. Take it to Diva right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Yes, we have coming up next Karen and Moses singing, You are holy, God. You are my provider. You are my, uh, vic you're my victory. You're my peace. You are holy, God, right here on Time of Refreshing. Holiness of the Lord. His presence you surrounds us. Holy. Gives us hope. 
gives us restoration. Father, I pray right now that if there's someone right now going through something, Father God, that they can't handle on their own, Father, I ask your presence to surround them right now that your glory will come to their house right now wherever they're watching this tv show whether on their phone whether on the tv father god i declare miracles wonders visit them father so they can see and that they declare father that you are holy for you are holy Hallelujah. We serve a holy God. Amen. Well, again, we want to just thank our, our guest for being on today. Um, he's holy. And as she mentioned earlier, uh, Viva Radio is um, here in Southwest Florida. I'm sure you'll see something on the screen in just a moment telling you about Viva Radio. T take the time to tune in. You'll be blessed, better than blessed. Um, God is just moving in a great way. And again, let me say, if you ever need a fireball to come to your <laughs> church and light things up, you saw her on the show tonight because she loves Jesus. She's excited about what he's doing right now. Diva, I tell you, we just have some amazing guests on the show. Yes, we do. It was, it was, it was amazing hearing her talk, uh, Karen being a fireball, and I was sitting, you know, waiting for my segment, and I'm watching her husband, and he's, like, so excited, and he's, like, mesmerized <laughs> about everything she's saying. I love that, you know, to see a husband and wife team, That's you know, awesome. team up like that and be yes. on a, you know, just be on fire for God. But, um the, the song you are holy that's a really good song you know yes, he's yes. he's a provider you know our prince of peace you know yes. and you know he's just simply holy and yes, he just yes. wants us to be holy that's that right. that simple that's exactly it, what the don't word have to give says. anything to it or take anything away just holy that's, that's what he wants exactly. us to do. stop being silent it's time for us to stop being silent and get back out there amen <laughs> and do what we're supposed to do to proclaim the good news oh yes, the gospel. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. so it's all about him <laughs> again thank you so much for tuning in we love you we'll see you the same time next week to god be the glory god bless you Good night. Bye-bye.